That's a huge fish. <laughs> You know, we like to keep things interesting on It Gets Real. We're gonna see what the most effective catfish bait is, man. So we got a variety of catfish baits that we're about to use and put to the test today. So here we have all the baits that we will be throwing out here today. Raw shrimp, some Guggen squad, live worms, we got some chicken liver right here. We have hot dogs with the Kool-Aid, a little bit of salmon belly. Man, we gonna put them all to the test right now. Woke up in the morning around six o'clock. Hop up in the whip and hit the bank shot. Gotta make it quick, no time to waste. But I gotta stock up on where I'm cooked and wait. Pull up to the lake trying to find a spot. This brand said they biting by the duck. If you ever been fishing, then you know the deal. Sit back, relax, cause man, it gets real. What is good? What is good, all my real ones? Welcome back to another It Gets Real adventure. It's your boy, B, the Flossy Fisherman. And today, we are back in Elk Grove, California at Elk Grove Park. Yeah, man. Good to be back out here, man. Uh, this time around, gonna be targeting some catfish and possibly some carp. And the last time I was here, I seen some double digit size carp swimming by about three of them, man, while I was trout fishing out here. But now that it's summer, this place stocks catfish. So if you can't tell by the shirt that I'm wearing, that's what I'm gonna be doing today, targeting some catfish, catfishing. Out here with my cousin Myron. Y'all remember him from the last couple episodes in the last time that I was out here but yeah we're gonna really try to get on them fishing is prohibited on the same calendar day as any fish plant dang so you can't fish here while they plant the day of the plant you must have a valid fishing license fish may be taken with no more than one closely attended rod and line per angler only single point barbless hooks may be used so no treble look hooks Artificial lures are prohibited. All fishing tackle must be lead free and not consume alcohol while fishing. Daily bag in possession of two fish per angler. Now, I don't know how old this post is, but if you go to the website, they have changed it, uh, at least for the trout, to five fish per angler. So it's important, man, that you do peep the websites for these parks or try to see their regulations and see if they changed them or if they're still the same because although um all the most of the regular fishing regulations apply here uh, they have their own special rules as well and it's like that in some counties and some parks so be sure man you read up so you're not out here doing something that you're not supposed to you know all right so today's rig and pole that i'll be using is my seven foot pan pursuit three four thousand reel got a 20 pound braid on here i'm gonna put a sliding rig on here use my trilene knot that's how you do that wrap around once have that circle there then go around one two three four five six and lucky number seven that seven twist go back over and come right through here the first knot pull down boom you're in there i'm going to use and there is no current in here so it's a simple one ounce coin weight i think i might start with uh, maybe one of the baits that I have not caught any catfish off of, which is hot dogs and Kool-Aid mixed up. Never caught anything off of that before, or shrimp for that matter. 
So those are two things that we have today that have never worked for me, but we're gonna try to put it to the test. Also have a little bit of salmon and um, some chicken liver and worms. And so far as catfishing, for me, the only thing that has worked is chicken liver and worms, man. I think they really just like the bloody smell scent of blood, so hey. If uh, the other ones fail and don't work, um, we gonna move on to what does and what has worked in the past. We'll try to use some of these hot dog juices in here and um, go ahead and pour this Kool-Aid in into it. Man, it's taking it back, giving me some nostalgia man just even holding this packet kool-aid i used to be the kool-aid king back in the day i shoot my stuff used to be smacking hella sugar though makes me want to just whip up a batch for old time's sake yeah we're gonna let this marinate in these juices but bust open that shrimp well these are Kool-Aid soaking this up. Fingers about to be red for the rest of the day. I think I'm gonna toss out the uh, shrimp first. I have a little Kool-Aid flavor on this as well. So as this water is probably nothing but four and a half feet deep at the most, I don't have that much long of a liter, two foot liter, one ounce weight. Sitting Sam, what will happen? Will I catch a catfish on shrimp for the first time today? I don't know what my cousin's gonna use, but that's how we'll, since we're only able to use one pole, that's how we gonna get through all these baits. So he'll probably be throwing a hot dog or something. And uh, I'll be waiting for this shrimp and we'll probably switch out baits every 30 minutes or so. Oh, see, this is exactly why I said you have to look online. Right there, daily bag and possession, limit of five fish per angler. So make sure that you go to the online sites at some of these parks, man, and see if it has been updated. Got a dragonfly on my pole, man. Hopefully he bringing me luck. He blessing my pole, man. All right, I'm busting out the uh, critically acclaimed Kool-Aid mixed with the hot dog. Yup. Let's see if this works. Cause that shrimp did it. Getting some pools on my pole over there. That's the hot dog. But there are a lot of turtles over here. Huh. Man. Can't tell if that was turtles or a fish, but Whatever it was, it didn't smack hard. No, no takers. Pull back on him. Got off? No. What the heck? I don't know what's doing that, bro. I don't know what's doing that. Whatever it is. The line, he with the line. Should have set the hook easy on him. It's Michelangelo.
strike at me though. Like that? <laughs> Bad and blue. <laughs> Sun coming down. We've been out here for some time. I didn't threw shrimp. I didn't threw uh, the salmon out there, man. We got the chicken liver out there. No bites. All I got was a turtle, man. Even threw out some um, corn for the carp. We got robbed. I mean, there might be a lot of just turtle activity going on out here. Then, uh, man. Yep, it's looking, it's looking bad, it's looking bad, but I just looked at the time and I think it's by the clock, man. I think it's by the clock right now for the catfish. The sun is going down, you know, predominantly uh, catfish are all for the night activities, man. So we're going to wait it all out. I got the chicken liver on there. You know, I'm thinking my cousin Myron about to go for some of this salmon again. Like I'm getting bites over there, but turtle or fish, we don't know. I think whatever's on, I might have swam with my bait. So I'm pecking at my bait, but like I said, I think it's a straight turtle. Catfish would have slammed it already. with it. Oh! Didn't set that hook hard enough, man. Still toying with it, whatever it is. Has to be another turtle, man. How you doing? Oh, I'm the best. Yep, yep. Ah, uh, man, I keep getting played with by turtles. Have a great day, my friend. All right, you too. You. All right, God bless. You. And this turtle is aggressive. Right, he keep yanking at it. Man, I don't really know what to do. Keeps chomping on it. It's a cat! It's a cat! Oh my gosh! It was a cat! It wasn't a turtle! I got him! I got him! Yo! Let's go! Let's go! Nice, bro! Cat fishing! Finally got one! Nice young boy. Yeah. <laughs> it's a catfish. Yeah, they stock them in here. <laughs> Thanks. Waited all day for this one. Catfish. Yeah. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, catfish. <laughs> nice one. Oh yeah, they stock them. Yeah, so they're not natural. They just they plant them in here. Yeah, they plant them. Yeah. 
Uh, chicken liver. Oh, chicken liver? Yeah. Cut people like chicken liver. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Tried, true, and tested. The chicken liver is what the catfish hit on. And I'm telling you, man, I, I've tried the shrimp. I tried the salmon, the hot dogs with the Kool-Aid. I mean, I tried everything. But from my knowledge and experience, they like the bloody scent, man. They like the bloody scent of that chicken liver and uh, that's what it hit on. But we're gonna see if we could try to get another one. His brother, cousin, sister, mother, aunt, uncle. Only one came out to play, man, today. And hey, I ain't mad at that, but that was what is the best catfish bait challenge, man. And it's one of the tested, trialed, approved baits, and that is chicken liver. I mean, every time I use chicken liver to go fish for a catfish, it never fails, man. They hit on that thing, man. They hit on it time and time again. Shrimp, I'm not sure about. Hot dogs and Kool-Aid, I'm not sure about. I guess I gotta keep giving it more chances, but as of now, it has not worked for me. Chicken liver was the winner. And we gonna go ahead and um, dip up out of here, man. Go ahead and like this video, comment, share if you wanna see some more. Go ahead and subscribe if you wanna see some more and hit that notification bell. So every time a new episode of it gets real drop, you'll get informed, man. Follow me on Instagram at It Gets Real Fishing and on Facebook at It Gets Real Fishing. Last but not least, hop online to itgetsreal.com and you can purchase some of this merch right here. Until the next one, y'all be cool, y'all be blessed. Peace. Woo! But I gotta go get uh, covered up right quick, man, because um, catfish ain't about to be the only thing that's biting in a minute. Your boy gets heavily attacked, man, by uh, mosquitoes, so I gotta go get uh, situated.